<laughs> Good afternoon, South Africa. Welcome to Afternoon Express. I'm Bonnie Bully. We're halfway through the month, and if you still feel like you're not quite spring ready, we've got all kinds of ideas to help you. We also put you onto a new craze called face profiling with expert Beatrix Picard Cambridge, where she can tell the truth about you just by looking at your face. Does it sound like magic? Yes, it is. Speaking of magic, Clem's here in the kitchen to make more magic. <laughs> yeah. And We're I, making I'm... beef cop. Koftas. What's Beef koftas. Kofta? So it kind of think like a kebab, but like on a little stick. But it's just the meat, the minced meat itself. Little extra bits added to it. So, you know what I mean? The yeah. chunks of meat, yeah. the vegetables, that's yeah. not it. I call you the mince whisperer. Because you can I, do all kinds of magical I things love with mince. mince. Yeah. I love mince. Yeah. I mean, as long as you have mince in the house, you have a meal. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. And the keyword for this recipe is beef. So SMS the keyword beef to double three six five zero for the full recipe and the list of ingredients. The SMSs cost one rand fifty. No free SMSs apply. Okay. So should awesome. we get started? So I'm using beef mince today. Normally you would use get this goat's mince or sheep's mince. I'm not scared oh. of goat's mince. I'd be like every day, every day. I love goats. They're yeah. so cute. They're cute. Yeah, I think. <laughs> <laughs> so the beef mince goes into a bowl. As long as you can eat them. I don't know. I mean, in Jamaica, that's a thing. So, I mean, we should try it. <laughs> well, also in rural South Africa, that's a thing. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. You know what? We should do a goat mince a, episode. A goat day. <laughs> <laughs> so our beef mince goes into the bowl, seasoning it to salt and pepper. Mm -hmm. Then I'm using something quite exotic again. I'm using some zatar. Zatar. I know about zatar. So, Educate the people. Well, you can mix zatar with uh, sour cream. Right? Yes, yes, yes. That, but that, the, the spice well actually goes on. And it goes well with and it goes well as a dip, right? That's so amazing. And it's, it's true. available at Woolworths. It is. Yes. So the zatar we're using, like I said, <laughs> it's got sesame seeds in it, it's got mm -hmm. sumac in it, and some oregano, okay. some okay. other ground spices. But you get like quite a nice perfumed, fragrant flavor from it. Awesome. So again, that's going to contribute so well to our koftas. I love it. I mean, I'm, I'm generous. And with it goes it. well with cheese as well, doesn't it? Well, a type cream of cheese, cheese, cream cheese, yeah, yeah, yeah. absolutely, yeah. Okay. Cool, awesome. so that's in there. Then I'm going to add a little bit of heat, some cayenne pepper. Okay. I know you're not... That, that, I like me some red spice, anything cool. reddish. There we go. That's I don't enough. mind a little bit of. So that's in there, and I've got some caramelized onions that I caramelized a little earlier. All right. And that's going to add a little sweetness to our koftas as well. Okay. And a little bit of moisture as well. Right. So all I've got to do now is, we am use my spoon, bring it all together, Okay. You can totally, at this stage, start using your hands, which yeah. I'm about to do real soon. Yeah. Just abandon the spoon. I love that feeling of that squeezing that mince in my hands. You do? Yeah. Okay, so I should have asked you to do that. Yeah, I should. <laughs> <laughs> then you just take your skewer. You can okay. actually, you know what I'm going to do? Here's a bit of a t tip. Instead of doing one, take two skewers. That way you get more support when you actually do this. Oh, okay. So get them in there. I told you you were the mince whisperer. I love mince. I mean, look at you, like a double skewer kofta. <laughs> now, there's actually a skill... Only on Afternoon Express. Excuse me? Only on Afternoon only, Express. Yeah. Only, Okay. So you get it nice, beautifully shaped, compact it nicely. Okay. And then on a really hot griddle pan, mm -hmm. just place that down. And what you can do is, well, again, I we'll always say, once it hits the griddle, leave it. And that's very it. important here mm -hmm. as well. Because if you turn it before it's really got that crust in it, it's going to fall apart. It's going to fall apart. So ensure that it sits there, cooks perfectly, kind of seals, mm -hmm. and sits a bit before you start turning it over. So okay. I'm going to stop sides with you again. Let's give my hands a bit of a clean over here. To go with this kofta, I'm going to make something quite fragrant again, and a bit light to lift that smoky, beefy flavor. So we're going to do it, go with a bit of like a parsley and a mint relish. What do you think? I, I like the sound yeah. of that. Cool. Yeah. So real simple. Very refreshing. It like. is. Like I said, yeah. it goes really well with that smoky flavor mm -hmm. on the beef. So I'm keeping it quite rustic. I'm going stems and leaves. So often we, we off, like just abandon the stems, yeah. which is not cool. Yeah. There's quite a lot of flavor yeah. in there. So don't chuck it away. Well, there's that whole movement towards imperfect vegetables as well, isn't it? It is. And using 100% of your vegetables, even the, the greens of the carrot, mm -hmm. can mm -hmm. be eaten, which yeah. is quite yeah. new. Yeah. yeah. Well, maybe it's quite old. I mean, who stopped um, eating it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and a bit of mint. Again, that mint's going to add amazing freshness. OK. I love mint. Like, as a, growing up as a kid, I never used to like mint. But now, as an adult, I love it. I How do you know everything? about mint growing up as a kid? I don't like mint. You clearly like, were groomed to become a chef. <laughs> when did you first start eating mint? It's a long story. That's a long Can story. Can I have half an hour? I have a lot of time. <laughs> <laughs> so extra mint, again, that's just going to add so much freshness to this. Okay. 
Like a zune. All right. And actually, I'm going to do everything on the board. Nice. Okay. Yeah. So, some green olives. Green olives chopped up. Okay. Chopped up already. A little bit of lemon zest. Okay. A little bit of garlic. Right. And a little bit of extra salt and pepper. Mm-hmm. And we're keeping it rustic. So rustic. No, no balls. On the board. On the board. <laughs> And then all I'm going to do then, a little drizzle of olive oil. Love it. Okay. Cool. So that's done. So what I've got is some pita breads. That's going to go down. A little bit of yogurt. And I'm yogurt. using a plain yogurt. Nice. Yeah. Refreshing. It is. This is a great spring summer recipe. It absolutely is. Coftas go down. A little mm -hmm. bit of yogurt just over the top. All right. And then finally, we can top it with a little bit of this relish that we've made. Just mix it all together and just sprinkle that over. Nice. What do you that think? That looks lovely. Is this ready to be turned over? It is. I'm a bit worried about so this. So let's swap sides. I'll do that for you. Okay. You do it. <laughs> uh, look at that. Uh, it looks beautiful. It awesome. Looks absolutely gorgeous. So, to finish up the dish, a little squeeze of lemon. You know we love lemon on everything. Always. So a beautiful nice. squeeze of nice. lemon. Okay. And that's done. That's it. Quick and easy. Done. Yeah. Okay, just a reminder, the keyword is beef. SMS the keyword to 33650, and there you'll get the full recipe and the ingredients. SMSs cost one rand fifty. No free SMSs apply. If you didn't get any of that, here's a quick recap. Now you know how to make this delicious beef kofta. It looks absolutely amazing. Thank I can't you. wait to bite into it. Have you heard of something called face profiling? No, I haven't. It sounds pretty interesting. It does. The other day I met up with a face profiler who did a face profiling on me and she told me a whole bunch of things about me that were absolutely accurate just by looking at my face. Sounds a bit scary though. Yeah, secrets, yeah. secrets. Yeah, it was a bit vulnerable. But you'll get to hear all about it when we return. Don't go away. <laughs>